Hello. How y'all doing? This is a new series. I'm going to start. It's called Patrick's Ponderings. Talk about what I'm thinking about every day before the markets open up. Sometimes throughout the day, sometimes at night. So, welcome to the first edition of this one. Uh, if you saw the opening, that was my dog, my coworker sitting on the sitting on the couch. He's sleeping over there, so we're allowed to sleep. A couple of things I've been thinking about. Um, markets, of course, we're going to markets. But first thing I want to talk about was some COVID stuff. Some COVID stuff. There's a headline that I looked at last night that hits really close to home with COVID. There's a nursing home right on the corner of my house in Geneva. It's called uh, Bria Nursing Home. 71 and 91 of the residents were diagnosed with COVID. 24 of which have died. A quarter of the population of this nursing home around the corner from me died. That is just heinous. That is horrible. And of that, I think they said 37, 120 of the, of the workers are actually have, were tested positive as well, too. So this, this is really close to home. So it's scary stuff. Wear your mask. I don't have one with me right now, but I do have my sanitizer here at the desk that I use far too often. So that's good. Back to markets, which is really more interesting to talk about, too. Uh, China stocks are coming off again this morning because China is questioning the trade deal. This is not any news. You know, we know they're going to question the trade deal. We know they want to renegotiate that. We know Trump's not going to do that. So that's kind of is what it is. I know a lot of it's part of floating on Huawei and what you want to do with them, whether allow them into our 5G. If that's a big fight. I, it makes me makes me kind of queasy to think that they're going to have any hand in that at all or any, anything like that. It's going to be high tech. It's going to be any type of could pass any information in the U.S. and type of sensitive stuff. I don't like the thought of them being there, just being perfectly honest. And the rate stocks, um, negative rates. I know Powell came in last night, or maybe it was, I think it was last night, and again, he, he I think he kind of flipped. I think the other day, two days ago, he was saying, yeah, negative rates is not totally off, off, off the map. But he's saying they are off the map again, and I believe him. I don't think our Fed wants to go that route. I think they've learned their lessons from Japan and from Germany about negative rates once you go there. I mean, I like to say once you go negative, you never go back. And that's kind of what we've seen happen. So I don't think that's going to happen. I don't see us going pushing the negative rates. The markets don't seem to be buying into it too much. Well, I guess they are. I mean, we're still pushing higher. I know that dimes last night, t- uh, tenure notes at the, sh- at the Chicago Board of Trade had their highest close on record. I'm pulling up a daily chart and let's look real quick. So... Maybe we are poison damage. In. Yeah, and dimes are up again today, and bonds are up. Bonds are up half a point. So treasuries are still pushing higher. Maybe they haven't totally ruled it out, but I just don't see us going negative. I don't think it's really reasonable. I don't think the Fed's thinking that's really the right place to go. So I think they'll try to avoid going down that route. But what do I know? A couple of the markets I looked at this morning that look kind of fascinating is uh, crude's up another 69 cents. Uh, what is that? It's June contract. The July contract's up 49 cents, one to quarter percent. Brent, uh, Brent's up fifty-two cents, about one and a half percent. Silver's taking a big, a big jump. Silver is up forty-four four, two and a half percent, while gold is actually down a buck and a half. So, not sure what's going on with that ratio. I've heard more people talking about the, you know, the gold-silver ratio. I think I think it's about like one hundred and twenty or something. Now it's way off the map high. Um, I don't know. Is that thing finally going to normalize? I don't think so. There's, I've, I've looked at a lot of the stuff on that. And I just, I think the underlying dynamics are just broken. The demand cases for each of them is so very different these days that I don't think that's, you know, to go back 10, 10, 15 years ago, you know, to see gold, silver over like 50 bucks, over 60 bucks was ridiculous. You know, it got to 80 this last year, a couple months ago, and it was like, this is insane. You know, we've got to sell this thing. Sell gold, buy silver, see what's going to happen. It just kept going. I don't think the underlying fundamentals really support that ratio anymore as much of an economic indicator or anything like that. So be careful with that one. That's um, those are the only marks I want to talk about. But I want to bring up that COVID thing because that really hits close to home. That hospital, that nursing home is like a mile from my house. We pass it all the time. So that's uh, unsettling. They've got big signage up front, you know, for the worker support and things like that. But it's a, it's a scary thing. So keep your mask on. Keep your keep your Keep your hands washed. Be careful out there. And um, figure out what's going on with that gold-silver ratio. Figure out what's going on with crude. We're back over 29 bucks for July crude, so see where that goes. I think it's, you know, the July crude thing, it's certainly the supply thing to cut off, but I think we're also just picking up. You know, we're opening up more states. See where that goes. I'm not going to get into the whole politics behind what states are opening up, which ones are not. You know, whether it's a right thing or the left thing. 
I don't think it necessarily is completely. I thought that for a while that there was a lot of politics involved. There probably still is some in some instances, but it really is a region region by region thing as far as what's going on with the health of the bounce back from this virus. So we'll see where it goes. All right, that's all I get to ram about. Got anything to talk about? Shoot me a line. Happy to talk to you. Bye.